Marsha Mason is a legend of stage and screen, and now she is quickly becoming a veteran of virtual theater. Her latest endeavor is directing a streaming production of the play Jericho, and Marsha joins me now. So first off, Marsha, welcome, and how are you in the midst of everything that's going on in the world? <laughs> well, I'm I'm actually feeling pretty good these days because I got a, a wonderful opportunity to direct via Zoom and StreamYard. So I, I'm a happy camper right now. <laughs> I bet you are. Was this the first time you've ever done something like this in this space? Yeah, uh, it's the first time I've directed a full length play with five actors in five different locations. It's wonderful. It's got humor to it. It has pathos. And you get to see some wonderful theater with terrific actors called New Normal Rep. I love that. So let's talk about this production. Let's talk about Jericho, which was done on stage a few years ago. Tell us about the story. The story is about a family and two people who have gone through the bombing of the towers and they didn't know one another before. And it's a story about coming together and uh, resurrection and forgiveness. I think that a lot of people, I know I did at first, when you think about seeing a play, you know, from home, right? You think about uh, a lot of the productions that have been done in television, you know, live productions of this musical or that musical. You see it as if you're sitting in the audience. But with this particular uh, production, they're like close-up shots and things like that. Tell us a little bit about how that, what that is and how that impacts the storytelling. Well, it definitely does. What was interesting, I think, for the actors was when you're on a stage and you have a big space around you and you're reaching out to an audience, it's very different than the distance that you and I have today. It's maybe a foot and a half. Yeah. So one of the main things was to be able to simplify and at the same time, uh, based on the patterns uh, on the actual screen, be able to step back and uh, see all of them together in different uh, formations. But the sensation was that it is a play. So we did record it from that point of view. Yeah. I wonder if you feel like you are ready to take on a major action uh, motion picture. After. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was pretty amazing. What are your thoughts on the future of theater with things like this being creative? It's definitely something that could continue after the pandemic. Broadway has been shut down. We don't know when it's going to open up again. What are your thoughts on that? Well, on the one of the things that the new normal rep felt, the people involved in the company, they said, this is here to stay on some level. And I agree with that. Right. It gives, I think, plays an opportunity to be seen that might not be able to be seen and acted by wonderful actors. And the fact that you can do it I think it's very possible that we'll have a whole different kind of way in which to extend and expand theater to an audience that may never uh, have thought about going to a live theater. So that when live theater eventually opens, um, they're going to have an experience and go, oh, I'd, wouldn't it be great to see this live? Yeah. So I think we, I think it expands and um, enlarges, I think, the possibility of an audience and the material being seen. Ah, oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> well, Jericho is streaming now through April 4th at the new normal rep.org. And Marcia, thank you so much. It's such a pleasure to, to talk with you. Oh, thank you so much.